Um, you were a part of something that I can imagine you'll probably look back on, maybe even now, but mm. probably in the future as Gold Coast, you know, growers and club and whatever. You were involved in that first win against Port. Yeah. How, like, how did that feel afterwards? Was it? I can't. I just can't actually imagine mm. how that would feel. Like, did it feel like yeah. a final win? Did it feel like a this is a relief? Was it excitement for? Oh my god! Like, yeah, more of this to come. Like, what? Do you remember much about that day? And what? Oh, no, I, I'm, down by seven goals. Well, down by. Stage. I remember. Yeah. I think I remember a really good feeling going into the game because yep. I think Paul was struggling a bit at the time and. Um, it's, it was still pretty hard to win on the road back then going to Adelaide. So I think I remember a really good feeling going into that game, especially. Uh, but then you're right, we're down by, by seven or something goals, and then to come back and win it after the game was just it was mayhem. Like yeah. a bunch of 18 year old boys who'd been you know, watching the players they were playing against yeah. on, on TV, they'd come out there and then roll them and come from behind the way we yeah. did. Uh, it was really special for the club. and. Um, the only thing that let us down that day was that we celebrated pretty hard that weekend. And then next weekend we were all buggered. So how how hard did it go? Yeah, it went pretty hard. The first two <laughs> years of the Gold Coast. Party. Yeah, yeah. The first two years of, of winning games in the Gold Coast. Every weekend it was a party. Yeah. Like a full on go for it party. Um, so yeah, we we learnt that you can't do that now for footy. Yeah. Um, and that winning. Uh, you win and then you move on to next week, not win and then party for as long as you can. So. Did it? Did it? <laughs> do you think a lot of that had to do with? Not having, like yeah. we said before, with those senior, more senior blokes around. I, guess. I mean, you still yeah. had like your Campbell Browns, yeah, and, like Gary Abadou, obviously, yeah, those like that. But did it? Did you need someone that was probably in that like younger yeah. gap? Like, yeah, I mean, when GWS got Phil Davis, he'd sort yeah. of, he'd been at a club. He was still young, but mm. he'd been at a club and had yeah. around not yeah not eighteen and thirty. Like, did you need someone that was sort yeah. of in the middle? 100%, of the, yeah, hundred percent. You need like a 22, 23 year old yeah. to come to the club and say, "Look, you'll enjoy a win, obviously, yep. but you don't need to do this, this, and this." Um, and how to recover, and, and obviously nutrition was a big one up there. Boys were just eating what they want. So, but back to what you've said before, there's just no structure around the footy club. It was yeah. just your eighteen year old kid. You're getting paid some decent money. Yeah, go and do what you want on the Gold Coast. Yeah, um, which made it hard to. Hard to actually be a good athlete.